The Philadelphia Eagles are a pretty big team, especially after their 2017 Super Bowl win, but Aaron Sippus isn't a player who gets a whole lot of attention. That changed with their game against the Minnesota Vikings when Sippus not only pulled off something incredible, but the Eagles also won the game. In this video, we'll be taking a look at Aaron Sippos' crazy stunt, so stay tuned. First off, Aaron Sippos had everyone stunned to help Philadelphia Eagles win. Aaron Sippos is really taking over football fans right now after he pulled a touchdown-saving tackle during the Philadelphia Eagles game against the Minnesota Vikings. Let's just say the Australian punter really took the show on Tuesday morning. And the cherry on the cake, the Eagles won a 24-7 victory, which is frankly quite incredible. The Eagles were already leading the game by 17 points when it happened. In the third quarter of their second round clash, Jake Elliott, a Philadelphia kicker, attempted a field goal of about 41 yards. Unfortunately, things didn't go the way Jake had wanted them to, and the Vikings were about to get the goal. Chris Boyd, a Vikings cornerback, was also close enough to get it, and as soon as the game was in his hands, he was sprinting towards the end zone. Everyone was sure this would have ended in a touchdown, but not all heroes wear capes, as Aaron showed Eagles fans as he stopped the catastrophe from happening at the perfect moment. The 29-year-old Australian had been holding the ball for Elliott, and as soon as he saw what Boyd was going to attempt, he chased after the cornerback and somehow managed to wrap his hands around the American's legs. This brought him down to the ground with him, and the crisis was averted. This is a moment both he and Boyd will remember for quite some time now, and if the reaction of the internet is anything to go by, they won't be the only ones. Aaron is getting the praise he he deserves. Fans immediately noticed the freak play and took it upon themselves to sing his praise on social media. Secondly, Sippos has gotten a lot of praise on social media for his amazing stunt. Everyone's been going on and on about how incredible the stunt was, not that anybody doubts them. For fans that are bad at football or those people that aren't really interested in the sport, some had even gone as far as pointing out exactly what everyone was so impressed with. Let's just say that his goal had been to leave the football community absolutely stunned at his freak tackle, and he had done a very good job at it. While Aaron is no doubt out a good player. He isn't the type to make headlines often, and surely this makes it a great time for him. Let's hope he finds the new attention of the Eagles fans worth keeping and continues to deliver great plays that will leave people reeling. Aaron is an ex-AFL star, and he's played about 28 games for Kilda and made 22 goals for the club. He made his AFL debut in 2011. Unfortunately, he was delisted by the Saints after the 2015 season ended despite being a good player. But thankfully, he was back on the show soon enough, as he made his NFL debut in September of the previous season. He went up against the Atlanta Falcons after he joined the Eagles as a backup punter. The Vikings quarterback was interested three times and even sacked twice, while Minnesota fell to 1-1. He definitely wasn't enjoying the game as much as Aaron. Next up, Aaron wasn't the only great player on the field with Jalen Hurts making a splash. Seeing as the Philadelphia Eagles easily beat the Minnesota Vikings 24-7, it should be obvious that Aaron wasn't the only player to get attention. Jalen Hurts shined throughout the match. The Eagles are 2-0 after winning against the Vikings in front of a national audience on Monday Night Football. At the start of the 2022 season, Jonathan Gannon and Jalen Hurts were viewed as the Eagles' biggest question marks. Nobody was quite sure what they were going to bring to the team and if the impact would be good or not. But soon enough, they proved their worth, and on Monday night, they were exclamation points. The biggest story which emerged from this match was Hurts' improvement. Several high-level throws into tight windows were made by the third-year quarterback. He threw with great accuracy and touch and made great decisions. It was the most impressive performance of his career. That wasn't the only thing that got everyone's attention. He was also a pretty awesome runner. He put up an incredible performance at the level of a franchise quarterback at the very least, showing exactly what he's capable of in this game. Finally, Jalen just needs to prove he's not a one-off to truly make his mark. Now the only thing that is left for him is to prove this was not a one-time thing. If Hurts keeps this performance up, he might become the NFL MVP under center for the Eagles. Still though, week two is too early to really know what is going on in a given season, and the great players that are suddenly surfacing in the team may meet their downfall soon enough, but there's also the chance they won't. The answer may not be clear just yet, but at least the Eagles have sent a notable message to all of the NFL through their victory over the Vikings. They piled up almost 500 yards of offense and made Justin Jefferson a non-factor for the Vikings. Maybe they're here to make a statement. Jalen Hurts is the first player in NFL history to have over 300 passing yards and over 80 completion percentage and a rush for multiple TDs. Let's just say the Eagles' victory over the Vikings was more than just another victory for them, but may as well be the start of a great era. Now another news. Richard Goyer talks about the immense courage of those involved in Hawthorne Racism Report. Richard Goyer, the chairman of AFL, has a lot of the immense courage it took for those involved in the shocking Hawthorne Racism Report to come forward. He pledged a just outcome for all concerned. While speaking at the grand final breakfast on Saturday, Goyer described the distressing allegations as another challenge that the game must overcome. Amongst the allegations against former senior Hawks staff, including coach Alistair Clarkson, assistant Chris Fagan, and player development manager Jason Burt, are separating 
First Nations players from their partners, and the most shocking claim that one player was told to tell his partner to have an abortion. It was acknowledged by Prime Minister Anthony Albanese that it had been a difficult week for the AFL when he spoke at the breakfast function on Saturday. It remains to be seen how the results will affect everything as a whole, and if there will be an actual change as a result. Meanwhile, a quick look at how the NFL is doing as it enters week three. We haven't seen under cash at a 68% clip over the first two weeks since 1996. The market is rarely that far off, even in a small size of 32 games, but that's the ripple effect of a scoring dip to 21.4 points per team. This would be the lowest rank since 2006 if it was held for the entire season. Naturally, the betting market has responded. The matchup of the Packers visiting the Buccaneers on Sunday has crystallized this trend. Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers had an average betting over under of 55.5 points, with a low number of 53 in their four previous meetings. Odds makers posted the total at 45, and that was immediately bet down to 42. It seems like the adjustments are team by team. Finally, an overview of the upcoming NFL games and the results from Week 3. Week 3 of the NFL is starting and the game picks are out. We've got the New Orleans Saints vs. Carolina Panthers, Houston, Texas vs. Chicago Bears, and Kansas City Chiefs vs. Indianapolis Colts. Following these games, the Buffalo Bills will fight the Miami Dolphins. Then there's the Baltimore Ravens vs. New England Patriots, a match between the Cincinnati Bengals and the New York Jets. And finally, Las Vegas Raiders vs. Tennessee Titans. We've also got Detroit Lions vs. Minnesota Vikings and Philadelphia Eagles vs. Washington commanders. We know the Eagles beat the Vikings quite easily, but maybe the team will fare much better in their next game. As for the Philadelphia Eagles, well, they've got eyes on themselves and everyone's expecting a good show. Of course, we can't forget the rest of the games. The Los Angeles Chargers will be going up against the Jacksonville Jaguars, while the Los Angeles Rams will take on the Arizona Cardinals, the Seattle Seahawks vs. Atlanta Falcons, Tampa Bay Buccaneers vs. Green Bay Packers, and San Francisco 49ers vs. Denver Broncos are also planned out. One thing's for sure, this is going to be an exciting time for the NFL. That's a wrap of this video. Do you think Aaron Sippos and Jalen Hurts are going to go even further in their careers? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.